so in this video we are going to look how to perform post running in decision tree and why we do this so our main motive is to prevent overfitting so let us go ahead and see like uh, so our decision tree classifier provides parameters like such as mean sample lifts and max step to prevent a tree from overfitting all right so what uh, what's the point here is that uh, if uh, we are using a decision tree classifier then uh, we know that it's prone to have overfitting so in that case how how we are going to prevent a tree from overfitting all right so what exactly we'll do we'll use cost complexity pruning technique so what exactly is this so cost complexity pruning provides another option to control the size of a tree so what does pruning means it just means that we are just cutting off the branches of our tree of our classifier so in decision tree classifier this pruning technique is parameter is a uh, parameterized by the cost complexity parameter which is ccp uh, alpha so we will look about the ccp alpha this parameter ahead and we'll exactly see that what this post pruning a uh, decision tree with the complex uh, with cost complexity pruning is actually so let us move ahead with our libraries so we'll be using mostly askelon and then running this and then uh importing another library such as matplotlib so we can have some visualization and then train test split and then so we'll be using press cancer data set uh, from escalon and obviously we are using decision tree classifier so again moving so here we are just uh loading our uh, data set and uh, uh training and uh we just tra will train test and split into x ray and x test uh, our data set and then we are just uh, fitting our decision tree classifier with x train and y train with a random state a zero so here we created our model and then we are going to uh, predict our model on x test and then we'll uh, go and check the accuracy all right so we obtained uh, 88% accuracy normally with our decision tree classifier just straight forward all this decision tree classifier taking this with few lines of code uh, uh, loading the data set uh, fitting the model and then uh applying accuracy score on the test data now let us look at our decision tree how does it look actually all right so this is our decision tree all right so we, as we can see that it's a, it has very max steps it has a lot of tab and a lot of uh, nodes and all so that's what exactly we were seeing earlier all right so uh, as we have this main sample lift and max tab to prevent a tree from overfitting but still will need cost complexity pruning method so what does it do it will select the parameters it will select the appropriate accurate parameters to avoid overfitting and give us the best accuracy give us the a uh, best model that uh, avoids totally overfitting and a much better accuracy all right so moving forward we can see that now uh, here we are using clf.const complexity pruning path and with our x train and y train our data set into it and then we will take out the value ccp alphas uh, with this path dot ccp alpha so what exactly we are doing that we are so we are actually taking out the values of alphas for our cost complexity pruning uh from our data set and it will uh, take out the methods uh, it will take out the alphas using uh, the leaf nodes in its methods all right so using this method uh, using the method of the clf dot cost complexity pruning path yeah so this method allows us to calculate the alphas uh, through which we are going to train our decision tree classifier for further checking all right so as you can see that now i can show you the peak points of our data set the which gives us the alpha values on which we are going to train our classifier and check the accuracy so you can see this various values which are approximately this 0.009 then 0.32 this are values uh, so this will be in our further step we'll look into taking the classifier so like for ccp alpha in ccp alphas so we'll look into particular one and then we are training our data we are training our data into it fitting it and then uh, we will store the, our model and then all right so now you can see that number of nodes in the last row is one all right so it just uh, shown us that it just show that ki the last one is this all right so last one with our ccp alpha was this so we have trained our all 
classifiers with uh, various CCP alpha values. And now, finally, what we'll do, we'll uh, take out the uh, value of alpha for which we have the maximum uh, accuracy with respect to training and testing. And for that, we'll use our matplotlib. So what we do, we'll uh, use the train scores to check the training score for CLF and CLFS. So we know that our CLFS are this uh, particular decision tree classifier for a particular CCP alpha and similarly the test goes out there. Now using our matplotlib uh, we will plot our graph which would look something like this. Alright so with this graph you can see that uh, for, for value of alpha is equal to 0 the accuracy was 1 but uh, the test accuracy was 0 0.88. Uh, which uh, which we saw earlier as well so it just shows the case of overfitting all right so we can see that with increasing the value of alpha initially uh, the training accuracy decreases but our test accuracy increase it is because the overfitting is reduced here and our model is getting better and better but finally with increasing alpha it's not affecting much and then it's totally ruining our accuracy later on all right so for our alpha somewhere here somewhere here which is almost 0 0.012 in our case uh, as we can see here the alpha that we were using all here uh, so the alpha which was clear clearly close enough to this counting the points and clearly close enough to this which i assume to take 0 0.012 yeah so this is the one for which we'll get higher training accuracy uh, without overfitting and high test accuracy. So with this method, now you can see that how we use CCP alphas, uh, this method of uh, CLF.cost complexity pruning path and then uh, calculating the models uh, accuracy with uh, respect to each alpha and then finding the most optimum alpha. All right, now we can train our final decision tree classifier. So what we have done that we constructed a decision tree classifier with each alpha and find the best one and our best alpha was 0 0.012 now using this clf is equal to decision tree classifier with random state 0 and our ccp alpha is 0 0.012 and we will fit our model all right and then when you go to check our final score then it comes to be almost 0 0.94 or 0 0.937 so now finally using sklearn and importing tree that method we are going to our, we are going to plot our tree uh, and then you can see our tree it looks like something this so earlier our tree used to look like this and we can see that it has it had a very long depth and it had very uh, too much leaf nodes which it, uh, signifies to overfitting all right, but now you can see that we have very simplified version and that too with a greater accuracy of over the text. All right, so now you can understand like how we are using a uh, decision tree pruning method to build a optimum uh, optimum model uh, from such this overfitting model from this, this kind of a model which is, which is highly overfitting. But now using that we find a value of alpha and then using that alpha to build our model and then finally you can see this our decision tree classifier it's very simple it's uh, not at uh, it's not having much depth and still it gives a lot better accuracy so summarizing once again what we were doing so actually what we did uh, we actually uh, use this uh, cost complexity pruning method to uh, find the values of alphas Alphas in a way, uh, the values of alpha for which we will train our uh, decision classifier and then find the alpha for which we will uh, we'll get the maximum test accuracy and also a decent training accuracy. And with that alpha, we built our classifier and which now looks like this, uh, giving, uh, giving, the, uh, the, giving that uh, now we don't have to see about overfitting. It's not going to have overfitting and our model is highly accurate.